are now entering Armbar Audio. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Armbar Audio. I'm your host, Tim Farley, and next to me is my trusted companion, John Kearns. What's up, everybody? So, this past weekend, instead of a Armbar Audio episode, you got a 24-hour live stream from us, especially John, mainly John, but I was there, here and there. Uh, and how much, what did we do for, what did we do the stream for, and how much did we do we bank? Okay, so the stream was for Extra Life, which uh, raises money for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Um, when you sign up for Extra Life, uh, all the money that you raise goes to your local children's hospital. So all of ours went to the UPMC Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. And our total at the end of the 24-hour stream was $516. Yes, and that is $16 more than you raised last year. Yes. Fucking A. And that's why. That's why my hair is blue. Because I said if we got to $500, i would do blue hair. And if I got to 1000 I would get the Extra Life tattoo. Uh, that still might happen because donations are open until December 31st. So um, I'm sure throughout the next two months I'll do stuff here and there to, we should. to stream for it. I'm, but yeah. I'm down. Uh, so to make up for that that time, um, we're giving you a, a bonus head. episode this week. Uh, we're doing a watch along today and Boom. Friday night or Saturday morning, Friday night, Friday, Friday night, night, live stream, baby, live, late, late night, night live, live stream. stream. Haven't done that in a while. We will be doing a preview and predictions for AEW's full gear with our friend, the nerdy Mark Sid Saran. Everyone's favorite Indian. Everyone's favorite Indian. At least ours. Um, <laughs> anyway, mine's ginger ball. <laughs> no, it's it. Anyway, uh, so the match we picked tonight, um, a while ago I was looking through Meltzer's five-star matches, especially in the early days, and um, I saw a lot of Joshi wrestling from All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling, and I have no- I'd known about it because I've known names like Mommy Toyota and... Um, Asia Kong and the Enos, uh, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, I've heard of these two women, Lioness Asuka and Jaguar Yokota. Um, from what I understand, you know, yeah, there was re- women's wrestling before this in the United States with Fabulous Moolah and her girls, but women's wrestling wasn't really taken seriously until. All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling came onto the scene, and it was established in 1968 uh, by Takashi uh, Matsunaga and his brothers. Yeah, I wanted to mention 1968, that puts it at starting a few years before even New Japan. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Absolutely. Um, And um, from what I understand, uh, the women who who wrestled for all Japan women's pro wrestling, a lot of them, uh, inspired the West, uh, in the early nineties, late nineties to try to make women's wrestling, a mainstream thing again, like with girls with the laundry blaze and the WWF. And, um, I forget who WCW had, but I know that some of these women came over from Japan and wrestled, for both promotions, uh, I believe Akira Hokoto wrestled in WCW, Bull Nakano, obviously, uh, Asia Kong, uh, some other people that I don't remember because I'm 33 and I haven't seen that in yeah. a long time. Uh, and hell, Asia Kong was working in the States as late as 2018 for All Elite Wrestling. Yeah. Like, it. Also, she, I think she still wrestles. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I wanted to go into this because, one, I've never seen it. People talk in the Joshi circles that I, I'm in online, you know, people talk about these these wrestlers and this promotion a lot. And I was like, shit, let's do a watch along. Let's go, baby. Um, so regarding 
uh, Lioness Oscar. Uh, she's retired um, along with her longtime tag team partner Chigusa Nagayo. She formed the Crush Gals, known for their mainstream popularity in the 1980s and for being one of the most successful women tag teams of all time. Uh, she also, obviously, was a great on her own. Um, let's see here. Da, 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 do. Da, 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 da. She has held the All Japan, the All Pacific Championship, the AA. AW Tag Team Championship, uh, TWF World Women's Champion four times, Twin Stars of Arison Champion three times, Twin Stars of Arison Champion two times, uh, Queen of Arison Champion, NWA Women's Pacific and NEO, uh, NEO Champion, Twin Stars of uh, This is just saying reigns. Anyway, right. AAW... AAAW Tag Team Championship, AJW Championship twice, AJW Junior Championship, All Pacific Championship, LLPW Six Man Tag Team Championship twice, NWA Women's Pacific and NEO Championship, Queen of Arison Championship, TWF World Women's Championship four times, TWF World Women's Tag Team Championship, Twin Stars of Arison Championship three times, WWWA Tag Team Championship four times, WWWA World Championship twice. She also has trained Sumi Sakai and Bloody. Yeah. <laughs> Jaguar Yokota, on the other hand, uh, is widely considered one of the greatest female wrestlers of all time, and during her heyday in the early 80s, was considered one of the best wrestlers in the world, irrespective of gender. Uh, she has held the AJW Championship, the AJW Junior Championship, AWF World Women's Championship, TWF World Women's Championship, TWF World Women's Tag Team Championship, UWA World Women's Championship, World Woman Pro Wrestling Diana Queen Elizabeth Championship twice. World Woman Pro Wrestling Diana Tag Team Championship two times. WWWA Tag Team Championship and WWWA World Championship twice. Jaguar Yokota has trained more people, uh, that being Karo, Megumi Kudo, Asia Kong, Toshio Yamada, Monami Toyota. Kyoko Ino, Takako Ino, Kaoru Ito, Tomoko Wat Watanabe, Yuki Miyazaki, Sumi Sakai, Hiroyo Muto, Cherry, and Hibiki. Uh, so there's a lot of history there. Now, along with history, we found out some information today, John. Yeah, um, apparently... Netflix is uh, going to be starting a series or like a docu series uh, focusing on Joshi Legend and AJW Hall of Fame member Dump Matsumoto. Yes, it will be called Qu Queen, Queen of Villains. Villains. Now, this is coming from Last Word on Pro of Pro Wrestling. Uh, str yeah, uh, streaming giants. Streaming giants. Netflix recently announced a host of new content coming to their platform, focusing on Japanese content, both in anime form and live action series. One section of the press release which caught our eye was the show Queen of Villains, a series that will be about Joshi legend Dump Matsumoto. Uh, here's a synopsis. It says, in the golden era of 1980s Japan women's wrestling, Dump Matsumoto went from nearly being fired to becoming the most famous heel in the history of Japanese professional wrestling. But her success jeopardizes her friendships with fellow wrestlers and makes her a target of vicious fans. Having turned the entire nation against herself, where, she will, where, where will she go from here? 
So, yeah, I want to look and see. Uh, beyond just focusing on Matsumoto, it would appear that Queen of Villains will provide some insight into the behind-the-curtain life of an AJW wrestler in the late 80s. From what little was known, AJW was not an ideal company to work for, and its treatment of talent won't go down well in it with a modern audience. Another aspect we may see explored is the backstage politics and infighting that seemed common in the company, especially amongst those from different training classes. Regardless, this show will provide an exciting insight into one of the greatest heels professional wrestling has ever seen. Uh, does not look like we have a date date yet, but be on the lookout. Um, just keep in mind, it's called Queen of Villains. So look that up occasionally. See when we get a, uh, see if we get a date at some point there. Now the match link is in the description. If you want to watch along as you listen or watch us yep. uh, talk about this match, this is Lioness Asuka versus Jaguar Yokota for at All Japan AJW's August 22nd show 1985. of 1985 at it's the Nippon Budokan. Nippon Budokan. And it's, that venue. It's for the WWWA title. All right. So we, of course, are synced up on zero zero. And give you some time to get that open, you know. Click that link, get it open. I mean, I guess they could pause this until they get get it ready, you know. Yeah. One, two, three, go. Play. So Lioness Oscar's coming out, and she has an entourage. Someone's waving a flag. She looks like she's uh, judo or karate, some type of martial artist. She's wearing a gi. Um, it feels like a MMA or boxing match instead of a wrestling match from the get-go, just by how they came out, how she came out, rather. Okay, Jaguar has a more upbeat song. But she's also, she's wearing a robe with the title. Seems like we got some jewels on the back. Probably her name spelled out. But she has an entourage as well. They both look badass, I'll say that. Uh, absolutely. There's a lot of people in the ring with flowers. A lot of people wearing this white is, as well, weirdly. This is a big, big match big feel. feel. Yeah. Homeboy's holding the world's biggest paper. <laughs> I kind of hope that flag's not there for the whole match. Oh, it's being held. I thought it was a Linus Oscar looks like a mean, mean lady. Streamers and screams. I love the streamers. Oh, I can't wait till this COVID bullshit is over so we can uh, see streamers and shit like that at wrestling again. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Way bigger pop for Linus Oscar. A lot more streamers, too. She got that Finn Balor at Beast of the East pop with the streamers. 
Mm -mm. From Beast in the East. Yeah. All right, Lioness is in the blue, is that right? white, and purple, and Beast Jaguar is in the where, black and pink. Beast in the East is where he did the ladder match with Kevin Owens, right? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. The streamers that they threw for Finn Balor is an image that has burned into my memory. It was so awesome. Pack had a good sh match on that show. Mm. I forget who he wrestled. Whatever. <laughs> Basically, it's one of the better shows in uh, recent history. All right. They're squaring up. Shake hands. Go back to the corners. And they are running around the ring. Lock up in the middle. Oh, my God. Look at these bridges. Ho, oh, oh. ho. People are still throwing streamers. Oscar with the kick. Mm -hmm. Nice type of lucha arm drag there. This match is going a mile a minute right out the gate. Right out the gate. <clears throat> Kota keeps going for these types of roll-ups. Oh, now it looks like they're both trying for an abdominal stretch. Oscar went for a punch, but Dakota using a gymnastic like background to get around that. Holy shit, they're fast. Yeah. Uh, looks like they're going to go for a te test of strength. And Oscar wrenches the arm, going into a hammer lock. Dakota pulls the leg down, goes into a type of knee bar of sorts. Ah, uh, their faces are so fierce. Right. Dakota working the leg. Oscar keeps grabbing the rope. They have a picture and picture shot of the crowd in the corner here that's like just very nostalgic to me. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like uh public TV yeah. type stuff. Oh, she went for a drop toe hold, but didn't work. It seems like they went balls to the wall right off the bat, and now we're getting oh. sort of the filling up process. The drop toe hold works out there, and Yakota is on the leg again. Somewhat of a half crab here. Almost like a tequila sunrise with that arm. But I I don't think she trapped the arm. I think eh, maybe she is. Oh, going off the ropes. Ooh. Big Thez press. Sort of a Thez press, but not really. Right. Verona <clears throat> for two. Backslide does not work for Oscar. Lions big chop. Big chop. Ooh. Shiny wizard. Shiny wizard? Or roundhouse? Yeah, this is like a roundhouse. Shiny wizard is more of a run. It's when they do like the, the step up. Yeah. 
Big suplex there by Asuka. Oh, Ikuda's fighting to keep her title. Those head kicks. I love watching 80s and 90s matches, man. Yeah. What do they call that? Like an Indian death lock? And then, like, she drops back on it? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's an Indian, an Indian death lock. Now we're going into a knee bar. They're emoting so much. Right. It really adds something to the match. It's a big, big factor. That's I mean, why in any that's match. why it's it's really noticeable when people don't. Absolutely. Ricardo's been guilty of that in the past. Yeah, Mr. Deadpan. <laughs> And Yakota makes it to the rope again. I mean, uh, Asuka, my bad. See, that's why I'm just going to Lioness and Jaguar. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not wearing Lion and Jaguar clothing. How am I supposed to know? Right now, it looks like we're watching an amateur match. Hmm. Yes. The crowd is still going insane. They have not let up. But for no, some they, reason, every time the they time. cut to the crowd in that box... They <laughs> look dead. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? It's all the people up in the nosebleeds, man. They're, they're always having a better time. Yeah, everyone down on the floor is, like, watching pretty intently. Oh, there's somebody who got up. <laughs> oh, wow. What's She's that? Got what, what's butterfly that? Butterfly lock. Like a, a butterfly. She's got the butterfly lock while she has the legs crossed as well. She being Jaguar Yakota. She let it go. To inflict more damage. Oh. I've seen I that. I think move like before. a hip, hip attack? Yeah. Now uh, the abdominal stretch. That's a that that's a favorite move of the new Oscar. Yeah, the hip <laughs> the hip attack, yeah. yeah. Naomi as well. Big suplex. Jackhammer. Yeah. Jackhammer, son. And Asuka kicks out. Thought she was going for better. <laughs> Not just holding her in the butterfly. Yeah, would that be called like a tiger? Like What's in that? A, she was going for like a tiger suplex. Uh, a tiger but, driver. Or, or, or Tiger Ship Plus. It, it depends on if they go back or front. Now she just throws her to the ground because she knows she's not getting her up. Figure and four. Figure four. Dakota looking like she's about to do the figure eight, to be honest with you. Yeah. We're about the halfway mark here. Now we... Jaguar came in, the champion. Yeah. But the one who got the bigger pop in the beginning was Oscar. Yeah.
Oscar's trying to turn it over. You got people wearing Mickey Mouse ears in the crowd. <laughs> That's something interesting. I wonder if they have like a Disney place. J- Japan? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a Disney World in Tokyo. Well, I think that's where Budokan is. Is it? I think. Well, that makes sense then. There's a Universal Studios Tokyo sure. as well. They also have a, uh, a Universal. Hmm. Universal Studios Japan is where the Nintendo World is. Uh. <clears throat> I wonder if you get to go into sewers. <laughs> you can do that anytime. time. <laughs> you gotta take all your clothes off first, though. That's basically where you have to find me to do these podcasts. If sewer, <laughs> right? No, I've never found that to be true. I was saying you have to come get me from the sewer and be like, Tim, it's time to do a podcast. You're just down there living that Ninja Turtle lifestyle. <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. Ever since I let, read Child that Lumber. last oh. Ronin. Cowabumber. Can't wait to show I was so mad when I found out that was fake. I was actually upset. <laughs> yeah, but it was funny when Leonardo said, in reference to Ra's al Ghul, he was like, who's this racist ghoul? Racist ghoul. <laughs> I was like, uh. I said, that's Jim Cornette. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, the whole time we've been bullshitting, it's just been this figure four going back and forth, it seems. And there's the crowd again. And Live just, ever. Uh, having the best of times. Just enjoying a nice beverage. <laughs> uh, Oscar's going after their Yakota's leg now. You know what I love? I actually love watching, like, WCW and WWF events from the 90s and just looking at the crowd. Yeah. Seeing, like, the big glasses, the mustaches, just like, oh. I was like, God damn, when I was a kid, every man I know looked like this. Especially whenever you're watching it <laughs> in the early 90s and it the guys look like that and the women have big hair and there's yeah. kids. And then you go into like and all the, the late kids are 90s, their and minds. it's all like teenagers and like. Like flipping off the camera. <laughs> yeah, and like, you know, uh, other types of women other than mothers. Loose women. I didn't want to say it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but there were. Yeah. yeah. Triple H got flashed in shows. Of, of, oh, all, there were the so time. many titties. All right, Yakota's uh, taking a powder. Not a long one, though. Didn't let the ref get high on the count there. Uh, single leg takedown. Submission heavy match, and I like that. She's trying to go for the pin, but Oscar's left shoulder is up. Yeah, this this has a big fight feel and it has a real fight feel. Right. Big. So now we're getting some strikes. Yep. Dakota's leg's got to be hurt. Just taking her down. Dragging her with force to the middle of the ring. Asuka has turned this match around. Said, I'm not just a tag team wrestler. I got a question for you, John. Mm-hmm. What's a jaguar to a lion? Competition. Food. Food? Do lions eat jaguars? Lions eat everything, dude. I don't know if they can catch the jaguar, though. Speedy bitch. Because, like, aren't they, like, the second fastest land mammal? Or land... I don't know, but I can find out. Because, like, the ostrich is number one. No, che- cheetah's number one. 
Ah, uh, uh, see, I'm thinking about Cheetah. Jaguars just look pretty. And they're probably great animals, whatever. I mean. Oh, God damn it. I love that Jaguar speed again with the cars. <laughs> Jaguar, animal. I was thinking about a cheetah, dude. Speed. That's okay. A jaguar can go 50. Cheetah can go 50 to 80. Lion can go 50. Leopard goes 36. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you even trying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, just, just lay around at that point. That's pretty much what leopards do. Like, people, people confuse leopards and cheetahs a lot. And jaguars. Le- leopards just hang out in trees. <laughs> That's all they do. <laughs> and if you're real dumb, zebras. Because you probably just buy handbags and shit, and you're like, oh, yeah. And giraffes. You're like, god damn, look at that tall-ass cheetah. You're taller than a giraffe, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> tougher than woodpecker lips. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, she has her up for the, the delayed buster. vertical suplex. <laughs> we both did it. Check where Yakota getting her shoulders up. God. If you guys watch Noah in English, that's uh, that's the guy, the one guy. And if you're not watching Noah in English, do it. You're missing out. <laughs> oh wow! Look at the flexibility. Jesus. Whoa! Big time drop kick from Yakota. Oscar jumping over the ropes with a sunset, sunset flip. Flip. One of my favorite moves. Which elicits another streamer from the crowd. Yep. Oh, kick on right on the top yeah. of her head. Yakota. I don't know. She might have this in the bag. I did not that look up spoilers. Finished. I never watched anything. Nope. Oh, oh, like a tiger. Double dr- underarm tombstone pile driver. Yeah. But Oscar oh. Bridge is out. And you could have gone for another tombstone, but flipped over. Oscar hits the ropes. And oh, Jumping sit pile out. Driver. Sit out, tombstone. Nope. And Yakota bridges out. Jeez. Damn, there's still like eight minutes left of this match. Eight minutes of pure heaven for Joshi fans. There's a roundhouse kick to the side of the head. Oh, bicycle kick landed right in the jaw. I love it when referees are really animated like this guy. They just keep bridging. Like... Group of young girls oh. looking on. I wonder if any of them were. Future. Oh, she jumped. You could have jumped on her back, but she has her in a fireman's carry position. Oscar does. Now we're going. Airplane spin. Yep. Just slams oh, just her right her. on her front. <laughs> and a big swing, Cesaro style. Look at this camera shot. Amazing. I agree. How have they never done this for Cesaro? And I like how they're inside like a yeah. circle. Yeah. How have they never done it? Because it's a fucking WWE. They're too busy they, shaking the camera the 85 times. <laughs> Idiot fucks. They give all their cameramen 18 cups of coffee before every show. <laughs> oh, oh. She blocks the German with a... Her leg wrapped around Yakota's leg. Off the ropes. The late suplex. Whoa! Over the ropes. Just drops her out of the ring. Lioness drops Jaguar out of the ring. And Tope Suicida. Which probably was just going to dive at that point. You never know, man. Excalibur wasn't a lot, to tell a us a lot of wrestling really names, it. wrestling move names, come from Japan or Mexico. Well, Tope Suicida is definitely Mexico. Then Americans get their hands on it and have to 
put it to their suicide gimmick. Suicide died. Oh, they say Tupe Suicida because they don't want to say suicide. Suicide, anymore, yeah. yeah. Even though if you're not a complete moron, you know what it means. Yeah. <laughs> Oscar's all just about spent. Just pulling your coat up. Suplex into the ring here. Nope. Oh, she bounces her off for the slingshot. One, two, another bridge. The bridge. These women's necks are made of steel. Ah, oh, Jer. Oh my high angle German. These two women are not giving an inch. Not giving an inch. Oh, she went for another chop. Crick on the Roman knuckle lock. Straight jacket, German. Now, if the ref would have gotten in position earlier, that would have been it. Right. Slow ass ref. I trusted you. <laughs> Still streamers are continuing to fall. Jaguar takes the line to the top. The lion's fighting back. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. I front you thought the suplex. same thing I thought. Front suplex off the top. She goes for a splash. Lion, Lioness does and misses and hurts her knee. It, now, yeah, I thought she was going to go there for a knee go. breaker, but... That's it. That's it. Knee trap German or backdrop suplex bridging pin. Now, when you said, are you kidding me? You thought the same thing I did. Yeah. It really looked like they were doing a superplex on the outside. I was like, yo, these women are crazy. And you could have Here come the streamers. The that was a fucking war. That was really good. When I think about it, I'm like, man, I wish I lived back then so I could watch this stuff in real time. And then I think how Whoa. hard it was for people... To watch it right with the tape trading and how hard it was to find a legit like source and now I could watch it anytime I want right through the internet but still like you know it's wild show respect awesome here sportsmanship. which just adds to the big but which adds to the real fight feel and there are a lot of uh, people dressed as kind of like, uh, what do they young, call it? Young ones. Yeah, but what do they call those people on the beach who save you? Lifeguards. Lifeguards. Yeah, they all look like lifeguards, people on man. the beach that save you. Or tennis players. Oh, oh they're on Nike shirts, too. That's interesting. I didn't, never think She's about got how like long a Nike's been around. certificate, something else, the belt. They got like a... Whatever the fuck this thing is. What is that? Dude? I don't know. <laughs> some, a crown some sort of mascot. There's a crown and some gold shit. That's a nice belt too. Yeah, it is. At the Coca, the Coca Banner, the Coca Banner. I don't know. I've heard that song like once, twice maybe. Copa Cabana. Co what? Copa. Copa Cabana. Yeah. That is what the music sounds like, though. Yeah, feels like I should be on a cruise. Wish I was. With all these te Japanese tennis players and. <laughs> That'd be a real weird cruise, man. Fucking hate tennis. You'd be like, how'd I get here? 
，网上有网友，网上有网友，我操！ Look how shitty that one looks. She's so upset. Not Oscar,、yeah, but the one、happy. to the right. She's just like, she's probably gonna kill that lady. <laughs> Oh my God! It's a trophy. Look、the、at that fucking、funny. thing. Yeah. Holy shit! shit. <laughs> the pageantry.、Uh, this and、thing. this. I don't like it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>、uh, well. What's starting now? Probably the next thing on Daily Motion. What, what do we got here?、Uh, what is happening? I don't know, but please. <laughs> <off of> <laughs> La babysitter.、Oh, it's some like telenovela show. Yeah, it's some telenovela stuff. Oh、All、my、right. god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, what did you think about that match? That was great. Yeah, I really enjoyed. I agree. I mean, I'm not Dave Meltzer, but I agree that it's a five star match. I love watching watching their stuff like that, though. Yeah, especially when it's stuff that I've known about but never seen.、Mm-hmm. Like there's so many names and so many matches and so many promotions that I've heard of that I just haven't watched yet, and that was fucking fantastic.、Uh, hope you、yeah. guys enjoyed it. Friday, Friday night, Friday live. night live.、Uh, um, we don't know the specific time yet. Probably 11 p.m. Eastern. It'll be on Twitter. Yeah, that's where that's、Twitter. where we're mainly based out、I'm、of now. Nazi things, yeah. Um. So yeah,、uh, we got the AW full gear preview and predictions on Friday night. Yep, live stream like we just said. Uh, joined by the Nerdy Mark. Yep,、so、and so on. Upcoming, uh, the week of Thanksgiving, we'll be with yeah our buddy we'll Chip, Chip again, again for the、uh, continuing our fantasy stuff. He has a microphone now. The Booker Man Championship. Uh, we're having a, a tournament. We're having a tournament called、uh, "Give Thanks for Violence," and、uh, it's a sixteen-man tournament. Re- re- really got that nineties ECW show naming energy. Yeah, <laughs>、uh, yeah. I named it this time.、Uh, so it's a sixteen-man tournament.、Uh, the three of us picked five, and then we all agreed on, agreed on the final entrant. Do you want to say who's in it? I'm not going to say that, but、okay. the rules are like GCW and ECW.、Uh, you can use weaponry, but it's not、uh, like encouraged. Yeah.、Uh, but the field is fantastic. The matchups are fantastic.、Um, if you matchups like, were completely randomized. They were put in a random picker, and yep, that's how it felt. If you like fantasy, the week of Thanksgiving,、uh, we will be doing that tournament with Chip. So. Wherever you are in the world, whether it's morning, noon, or night, you have a great one. Peace and love to all of you. Bang.